What's up you guys? It's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one I want to talk about XRP and the fact that it's not the best news possible, right? Um, I hate bringing any type of bad news. It seems like that's the, the only thing that we have that's out here. We want to have good news, but it's always led or, or followed with something that's, that's bad. Um, we've been dealing with that for years where we have an appeal or we have a, we have XRP labeled as not a security. That's huge news. It's labeled as not a security. It can be tradable. It's on Coinbase. It's on Kraken. It's on all the platforms that it got taken off of. And then all of a sudden, right afterwards, it's like, we could appeal that. We're still in the lawsuit. It's just we have this one piece that's clear. We still don't have any full clarity on why that is, but we're going to say that this portion of it is not labeled as a security. XRP itself for retail purchases, not a security, right? Um, retail investors, not a security. Institutional investors, on the other hand, that's a whole nother story. So you have like positivity uh, met by negativity and the negativity always somehow wins, right? We got up to 95 cents at a point to where this was labeled as not a security, available in Coinbase, available in Kraken, available in all that, and it got taken down, right? absolutely push down because it's like well hold your horses we could appeal and we might appeal but you know that was over a year ago um then we have you know more and more information the the um the ceo and the chairman are rid of those charges you see a settlement even or a potential settlement of 125 they're ordered to pay not settlement but they're ordered to pay 125 million dollars ripple and maybe that's considered bad to some, but it was considered good to most because the lawsuit is over. It's been four years. The lawsuit is over. We can get on to bigger and better things, more partnerships. You can uh, start doing all the stuff. You don't have any clarity on why that is, but you know you still have freedom. However, again, they can appeal. So what we've known is that they have until October early October in order to appeal. And from what we understand, that's going to be the case where we do see an appeal. And we're, uh, it's starting, we're starting to see a lot more negativity in, in XRP and a more, um, and it pushed down a little bit more. It's just not the best situation. So apparently Ripple and the SEC agree to stay or pause at the 125 million. So it's not to pause as in like, oh, we're okay with 125 million. It's pausing the $125 million payment to them because the SEC is most likely going to appeal. So it doesn't make sense to make that payment or um, go about that payment if they're not going to do that. The crazy thing is there's no new information that's here. Um, will the appeal get approved? I don't know. Will they end up getting more money in the appeal? I, I fully don't know. But honestly, I can tell you, I am tired. I am tired of the fact that the SEC continues to fight this thing um, just because they want more money. That's all it is. They want $2 billion and that's it. They don't want any type of clarity. They've never wanted clarity. They just want money. That's it. And it's it's honestly sad. It's frustrating. It's it's all of the above, all of the words that, that irritate me and irritate you. Um, so anyways, let's get into that detail, guys. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to start trading XRP on Margex, you want to use, utilize my platform, um, Margex, to um, trade XRP, you can trade all the way up to a 50X leverage. I have a link in the description for Margex. They are a partner with the channel. So uh, I do appreciate their support of the channel and I appreciate your support of, you know, a uh, platform that I honestly really, really like. I've had a lot of success with. Um, so feel free to check out that. Link is in the description. But XRP currently stands at 53 cents, uh, almost 54 cents. It's down 2.4% on the day. Uh, we're seeing it at a $30 billion market cap with less than $1 billion worth of volume. You are still seeing uh, basically all the supply that's out there, 56.25% of the supply that is 
out there. And in the last seven days, it is down pretty significantly, down by 5% uh, from you know this level of 56, even some of the high levels of 57, uh, down to you know 53 or 54 um, you know cents. So obviously, it just hasn't been going well for the overall market. But we still have some negative news that's happening. And throughout this whole time to where we had the $125 million judgment to where we are today, we still have um, the appeal that's kind of looming over our head as a dark, stormy rain cloud over our head. And here's where that comes from, right? So Ripple and the SEC agreed to stay $125 million uh, judgment, hinting at appeal. Um, the legal team defending Ripple Labs against a, a case filed by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has requested to stay uh, the monetary uh, uh, portion of an August 7th judgment uh, requiring the, the firm to pay $125 million. In September, uh, in a September 4th filing in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York, Ripple's uh, lawyers said the SEC had agreed uh, to a request to delay payment of a judgment after uh, September 6th. The the legal team proposed that Ripple placed 111% of the judgment amount, roughly $139 million, into a bank account until uh, 30 days after the time to appeal expires or the, the resolution of an appeal. Um, the filing um, appeared to uh, be laying the groundwork for the potential appeal by the SEC as executives at Ripple uh, laud, laud the uh, uh, August 7th judgment. Uh, at the time, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse called the decision a victory for Ripple uh, and Chief Legal Officer Stuart Alderati uh, said the, the company would respect the $125 million fine pending court approval at the time of uh of publication judge annalisa torres overseeing the sec v ripple case uh, had not signed off on the request uh, any appeal would likely mean ripple's case with the sec was not yet finished after being first filed in december 2020 under the court guidelines either side has 60 days to file an appeal if the united states or an uh, officer or agent of the United States um, is is a party. Uh, wait, not, not of the United States is a party. I don't know what that means. Um, a uh, sorry, the uh, SEC complaint alleged that Ripple used XRP to unregistered security to raise funds initially targeted Garland House and Ripple executive chair uh, Chris Larson in July of 2023. Judge uh, Torres. Uh, ruled that the XRP token was not a security regarding programmatic uh, sales on exchanges. The um, the price of XRP was 56 cents at the time of publication, having risen roughly 0.15% uh, in the last 30 days. So um, this just means that right now they're holding $139 million dollars um, basically to pay uh, after, uh, obviously, 125, but um, $139 million to basically pay after the appeal date is in progress or um, passes. Now, what this means and what I would do is this typically means when they go and say, um, and I'm, I'm not a, um, a lawyer or, or um, uh, a legal professional in, in any way, right? Um, but when you're playing this mind game in a way, um, and what you do is basically say, we want to stay here and, and not have to pay the 125 million. If they agree to that, to say that you don't have to pay the 125 million, then that means that they are contemplating in their mind if they want to appeal, right? And that's still deep in their mind. Now, if you are making that payment and they're like, you know, no, we don't, we don't want to stay, um, you know, with the 125 million, we want the payment, then that means that they're willing to accept the 125. So it's kind of a mind game um, in a way, but this is kind of confirming that the SEC is looking and looking to find grounds, more grounds for an appeal. Um, and whether that appeal will be proved, approved or not, I don't know, but they're looking for that. Now, um, 
this is not the best news for at Ripple or XRP because, I mean, it just creates more and more, um, you know, litigation. Well, the same litigation, but just more time. It's like we want this to be over as a as a uh, XRP investor, as a believer in Ripple, the process, the payment processes, the everything that they're doing. Like I believe in what they're doing. I don't want this to be over their head. It's not anything that's going to affect them in a larger way besides paying more money. That's all the SEC wants. It's just more money. Like we we are not affected, and that's why institution institutional sales are the only thing that's really um at the forefront if it was to retail investors we'd probably be like all right look we don't care about this we didn't lose any money we we still are with ripple we still believe in in ripple's processes as well as xrp and we'll move forward um but for institutions i don't know how they truly feel about that i don't know if that's something that's like a sour taste in their mouth right but the point is um the the u.s government the sec wants their money that's all they want it's not to protect us or to protect businesses it's to give them more money and it's just greedy that's all it is it's just greed just accept the settlement make this clear of exactly why the the judgment was this and then we can move along it's four years it's a long time right i don't want that to last that long and for it to go another year or even four years after that would be absolutely ridiculous because it would then hold ripple in this bull run as well and that would absolutely suck it would hold xrp in this bull run as well you saw what happened in the last bull run everything else ran xrp really didn't make huge moves and the reason why they make huge moves is because of this situation and if we have that happen while the bull market is happening then xrp looks horrible for many many years because we have um the litigation that's going on during this bull run and then we have the bear market where maybe they're free of that litigation but we don't see a push because it's a bear market and it will suck it will absolutely suck meaning that this bull run we will not see anything um the bear market we will not see anything the bull run after that that's when we may see a lot more um and maybe just maybe if this is the case where there's always a potential chance that this could happen where um this bull run we do have more litigation it goes over the next year or year and a half um through this bull run and then we have clarity and when we have that clarity it then extends the bull run because Ripple is going to be so strong and XRP is going to be so strong that it extends the bull run. That's always an option as well. So keep an eye on that, which is something they probably don't want to have um, because they think, oh, well, you know what? We can just get past this bull run that's going to happen. That'll be good because they're still in litigation. You won't see any rises. But then as you get to the next, um, you know, the bear market, we should just see it kind of be flat or decrease a little bit. But it'll be a surprise when things absolutely skyrocket for XRP and that money ends up trickling into a lot of other projects, creating an extended bull run. That's always an option. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Is this bad news for, for XRP, for Ripple? Um, is this good news in your opinion? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.